everybody, it's Viper GTS, and I was going to do international today, but I was digging around a bit more and found a couple of US ones that kind of piqued my interest. So I did pull out this number 18 beef patty. Um, it's kind of weird because the bag is labeled as 8127, so it will be 2008 expectedly. But in 2008, menu 18 was meatballs, so the, this might be a weird one. But it did go to menu 18 in 2009. So maybe this was just packed for future use as menu 18 2009 and then it eventually was replaced to the menu 19 jalapeno beef patty which we all know is really good but the menu on this beef patty the older one sounds really good let's take a look and here are the contents fail uh-oh hold on all right, all fixed. Mariquel packed, double bag. It's a really thick package too. All right, so we got the normal spoon, hot beverage bag, FRH dated 8105. Ah, oh, that's interesting. That's not in a accessory pack. Beverage based lemonade, good stuff. Cheese spread with bacon, excellent. Nice pack of barbecue sauce. Wheat snack bread, oh not again. Iced tea accessory pack. Nacho cheese pretzels, these are probably what Americans call combos. Another wheat snack bread, oh god. Grilled Seasoned Beef Patty. And I've been looking for this one. Finally got it. The Mexican style mac and cheese. That should be awesome. And once again, everything is dated 2008. So, interesting. Let's get it trade up. The accessory pack included salt, moist towelette, the iced tea drink, toilet paper, matches, and some gum. Let's get a few things out. Take a look. Nacho cheese pretzels. Yep, they are combos. Wheat snack bread times two. Great. Ah, yeah. Ugh. Horrible stuff. And then get the macaroni and cheese, Mexican style. Gonna put that in the FRH. Day code on there. And what else are we going to put in the FRH? Anything? Uh, I think we're going to probably try to do something a little different with this. But get the FRH moving. And I did pre salt some water just to help it along. And we go. And in with the Mac. Get those drinks made up. Got the beverage based lemonade that was not an accessory pack, which I'm not sure I have seen before. Usually it is included inside the accessory pack. It's a bit crunchy. Doesn't have good color to it. We're going to try anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, it's little rocks. That's all right. Really stuck in the pot in there. That's all of that. And then the iced tea drink lemon flavor. This did call for a full 20 ounces where the iced tea only calls for six, which is a tiny amount. So I got that in the canteen here. Looks pretty normal. Gonna let that lemonade sit for a moment, but give everything a stir, see what we get. Yum. The lemonade stirred up nicely. Might as well just go and combine these two, make ourselves an Arnold Palmer. All right, check our FRH. Barely warm. All right, backup plan, one sec. All right, so I do have a second FRH. Maybe this one will work. So 
I want this macaroni to be hot because it's an item I've been looking forward to having for a while. So hopefully this one's better. Push this back for a sec. Make some space. And again, I use salted water on this one too. All right, let's try this one. So the FRH is working a little bit better. This one's getting nice and hot, so that's good on our macaroni. And I'm gonna do something a little different with this beef patty. In the meantime, combos, great, cheese-filled pretzels. But this stuff, yeah, that's what I thought. My buddies will love it. Let's get something different though. How about some of this? Some non bread, we're gonna cheat and make a good burger instead of what that would have been if I used that wheat snack bread. All right, much better idea. Nice little square patty there. Tear notch as always. Wow. Ooh, looks like yeah. we got some fat separation in there. It's all right, let's see what happens. Gonna prep those buns for some burger action. Got the barbecue sauce. I don't know about you guys, but I've always loved barbecue sauce on burgers, especially cheeseburgers. And this one, since we don't have mustard, you know mustard's always good, but uh, barbecue's just fine in my book for a burger. And when I opened that patty up, it did have a slightly old burger-y kind of funk to it. I don't know if that's a good sign or what. That separation on the outside was kind of expected, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. And then here is the cheese spread with bacon. I did knead this for a little bit. Got some separation on here, just like the last pack. Try some by itself as well. Yeah, it's fine, just separated. I'm really gonna load it up on this, cause why not, right? Also, I do believe this would be an excellent combination. Oh yeah, it definitely was. Let's check on our burger. Looks better now. A little extra, right? I mean, it's there. Might as well use it. Nice. Mac and cheese is nice and hot now. It's been about eight, ten minutes. Should be all set to go. And I'm surprised there's no dessert in this pack, so that's all right. Not even a cookie or anything. Color is a bit strange on that, but it is nice and hot. Yeah, the color towards the bottom of the pouch looks a bit better. A little more the uh, consistency I was looking for. Give me a close up here. So I have a feeling I'm going to be needing the napkins after this, so brought out the teepee right here. And I first want to start with this mac and cheese. I think my expectations are a bit too high, but hopefully it's got something good going on. Kind of a weird texture, very firm. It smells like it's supposed to but has that old cheese smell to it. If you're into rations, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Flavors are right. There's absolutely no spice to it. Well, tiny bit of spice to it. Texturally, it's weird. It's um, very solid pasta. Um, it's not soft like the, uh, the chili mac is, you know, like number 10 chili mac is. Could use a touch of salt though. But I mean, we really have to dig into this main here. This thing is a big mess because 
you know, I made it like that to be a use up all the stuff, but looks all right. This bread is what's going to make it, I think. Arnold Palmer's just fine. All right. It definitely has a, uh, you know, a fake smoke additive because it's got that, that hickory smoke flavor to it. Probably like a liquid smoke product or something like that. But the flavor is, is freaking awesome. I could definitely eat this every day on the field. And actually, I do like this better than its replacement, the jalapeno pepper jack patty. So, I'm going to keep munching on this, guys. Mmm. Right on. So, even though I cheated... The uh, non bread is the way to go. The wheat snack bread is this horrible stuff, and the squirrels enjoy it more than I do. Take a look. And once you get down to it, there is a, a good bit of spice in the mac and cheese. Actually, it's um, it's actually not very cheesy. It's got more spice than cheese now that I'm really tasting it. Combos are always good. No dessert pack in this thing. Wish there was a cookie or something. That'd be nice drink is fine. Only real complaint would be the wheat snack bread, but you guys know I hate that stuff, so thanks for watching, and definitely check this one out if you get your hands on it. Later.